Let's start things off by revealing the first team All Big Ten. No surprise that Peter Jock made the list as well. He was a scoring machine this year. Number one scorer in the league by a point and a half. How good was he? 10 times he scored 25 points in a game or more. Five times he scored at least 30. On top of it all, he was the best free throw shooter in the Big Ten. I'm really thrilled for Pete. Uh, obviously well-deserved first team, all Big Ten. Uh, I, I knew he would lead the Big Ten in scoring, but I think the thing that's impressed me the most is how complete he has been this year. He's our leading rebounder. Uh, his assist turnover ratio is excellent. He's one of the best screeners in college basketball because he understands that he's got somebody on him at all times, and to be a good screener opens up things for other players on his team. Uh, the way he's led, uh, the way he went out yesterday on senior day uh, is just really impressive, and I'm thrilled for him. He's joined by Jordan Bohannon. Man, did he make some big shots for Iowa all year long. Tony Carr was the brightest star for the young Nittany Lions. Amir Coffey, whom we've mentioned, was just enormous for Minnesota. Another example of how hard it is to believe he's only a freshman. And Tyler Cook from Iowa, when it wasn't Peter Jock scoring, it oftentimes was Tyler Cook. Considering how many really good freshmen there were in this league this year, to have two guys on that team really speaks to the kind of seasons that Tyler Cook and Jordan Bohannon had. I am not surprised about either selection. Both were well-deserving. But when you watch, for example, that Maryland game where he was so dominant inside, so dominant in transition, and Jordan with the way he pushed the ball and got the ball inside, uh, around the offense, and then made shots as well. Uh, you know, I just am really excited to coach both of those guys for the next three years. Five to shoot. To Bear. Bear will throw up a three from the wing. Good! Nicholas Bear on fire in Madison as the clock winds down to two seconds. Nicholas Bear being the sixth man had to be one of the easiest things to, for anyone to predict. Uh, obviously, one of the most talented players in our league. We bring him off the bench because we love his energy. He's most comfortable coming off the bench. Uh, but when he's on the floor, his intensity level and his basketball intellect is just infectious with everybody else. Another great leader in that locker room, and I'm thrilled for Nicholas Bear.